Okay, so hopefully now that you've gotten familiar with the symbols on your calculator and how to use your calculator, I just thought it would be good to see two problems worked out. So the first one, I just have a small set of numbers, 2, 5, and 8. And as I go through whatever process I need to to get that data entered in my calculator, and when I hit my mean button, I got 5 is the average. Happened to be the median on this problem also, but not always the case. When I push the button for standard deviation, and be careful because remember, the directions say sample in this case. I had two standard deviations to choose from. Just because you have two to choose from doesn't mean that your data really is a population standard deviation. I'm using a sample, so I want a sample standard deviation. I get three. And when I go to find the variance, remember, there's no button on my calculator. So I had to take the answer from sample standard deviation, square it, and get nine for my variance. Okay, what about the second set of data? Have you gone ahead and taken the population data of 36, 45, 52, and 41 and calculated your values there? For the mean, you should be getting 43.5. For the standard deviation, if I look at the population value, I'll get 5.85. So really what happened is the button on my calculator gave me 5.85234 but I was just going to go ahead and answer with two places after the decimal on all of these problems. Sorry, I didn't tell you that. Oh, no, the directions did say that, huh? Now, for the variance, remember you need to square your standard deviation. So you should be getting 34.25 because remember, it's your standard standard deviation that gets squared, which is that really crazy long number. And when you square that long number, not the answer I had for standard deviation, but the full standard deviation, not the rounded version, I get 34.25. So note, had I taken that answer of 5.85 and squared that, when I rounded that answer, my answer would be off. And this is something we talked about in chapter one about um, sample error and non-sample error. So my error here is not that I used a sample, it's a different problem. The problem here is that I used a rounded number and then rounded that, so be sure not to do that. 